Aloha and happy King Kamehameha Day. Aloha! You're invited to the 151st Kauai King Kamehameha Day Parade. Welcome! And as you can see, it's exciting. Ehoumaka Kako. Let's begin!
And here we have the royal court. King Kamehameha I is from the island of Hawaii, from the northern district of Kohala. This is the royal order of King Kamehameha, the Kauai chapter. King Kamehameha is known for lifting the Naha stones, which are large slabs of stones that he pushed up, showing he had tremendous physical strength as well as mana or spiritual strength. our former mayor, Mayor Kusaka. Oh. We have the Pabu Marshal. Okay. Here come our famous Pabu riders. They actually tie a piece of cloth 
known as a pa'u. They tie it with the kukui nut, which is the candle nut tree. So you're gonna see the pa'u units are represented from each of the major islands. And Traditionally, we're tied with kukui nuts. And the Hawaiian Paniol, the Hawaiian cowboy, is a breed all on its own. And these handsome kani. somewhat frozen and as it hits your skin it helps the skin so that's a famous old chant coming. Kananaka. 
is a song about Maui. And the island of Maui is represented by the Loke Lani, which is the rosebud. Hawaiian cowboy is a special breed here in Hawaii. The first cows came with Captain George Vancouver in 1793 from Monterey, California. They were long horn steer. This is Kaho'olawe. Olave is an island we're restoring now. It was used by navigators and is still used today by modern navigators in our traditional Polynesian canoes. Kaho Olave is represented by the Spanish Mosle. And their color is gray. And whose singing voice do I hear coming up the street? Why, that's Kamahao Thronas, one of our up-and-coming singers and ukulele players from Hawaii. We have plenty of talent in the islands. And next we have the island of Lanai. They're represented in the color orange, and their lei is made of kaunaoa. Kamehameha School Song Contest to see more. He was in the middle show, the Ho'ike. We have our Lenai Prince. And the Kauna'oa grows at the ocean side on the rocks. And we also have Kaunaoa that grows in the valleys, or on the trees rather. Island of Molokai in green. Oh, ma -oh, ma -oh. And they are represented with the kukui lei. And that can be a lei made of any part of the kukui tree, also known as the candle nut tree. And you can see the local boys are giving us some yeehaws today. Leaves. 
used throughout their lay with the money tree and hala baskets, low hala, made from the finest pandanus trees in the Pacific. And there's the kukui nut lay. And even kukui nuts in their hair. who coming represented in the color yellow and their flower is the ilima flower but their lay have many beautiful tea leaf and protea looking flowers oh they're beautiful and here we have the princess it's just extremely lovely and these lay take a long time to make gang now she has on a lay ilima. And I even see some nice bird, uh, are there heliconias, heliconias in the lay. And there are protea in there, if I didn't say that. I'm good at my plant identification, there's no doubt about that. It looks as if the kane, the men, have on lei hulu for very This is what makes the difference between a Hawaiian parade and a parade anywhere else in the world. Anyway, the men look as if they have on the lei hulu or feather lei around their neck and around their papale, which are their hats. And the women as well have on the lei hulu or the feather lei. And those are some beautiful horses. I believe coming up here in the red and white and unofficially black are the Kauai High School cheerleaders. Um, this is the high school I worked at for many years. I'm speechless. I'm very proud of that. We've had some of the best cheerleaders come right out of here. Aren't they lovely kids? That's oh. what I see coming right behind our red raiders is the beautiful island of Kauai. Kauai's color is purple and is represented by the only found on Kauai, Mokihana berry. It smells like licorice or aniseed. And it's often twisted with a lei maile lau li'i li'i, which is a small leaf maile lei. It is the most fragrant maile vine lei. Oh. Actually, I think maile might only grow here in the Hawaiian Islands. Oh, they're beautiful. Yep. some
Pala Pala fern. And some tea leaf. Hello, buddy. Oh, she's got some nice roses. Roses in there. Man, look at the look at the work done in the lake. I didn't know any better. I think he's, he looked like the mayor, but he's probably a little too young. All right. It's lunchtime. <laughs> also, and we also have the Lawa Efer, which has a similar smell to that of the Kauai Maile. And again, traditionally, those pavu are wrapped with the kukui nut. They are wrapped in a certain way that they are stuck and tuft, tucked in. And that's how the pa'u riders came about, wearing the pa'u. Women were better equestrians back in the day when horses first came. They used to ride a side saddle. And Kapiolani Park was once a horse racing track. is Miss Kauai Filipina. And here comes the Pau unit for the island of Niiho represented in white or light blue at times. They are the dry, small leeward island off of the northwestern side of Kauai. And they're represented by the Lei Pu Pu Niiho, or the shell lays. And it looks to me like some of their horses lay might have some low holiday. Weaving and shell lay making. Remember, Niiho is a privately owned island by the Robinson family. And it was a sheeping ranch. And it does get very cold there and wool blankets, although sheep are not native animals. The missionaries that bought Niiho used it as a sheep ranch. Oh, here come the motorcycles. Get your fathers out now. Tell them to come on down. Let's do an unboxing on some of those e-bikes. They're looking pretty healthy there. King Kamehameha designed the state flag for Hawaii. He used the Union Jack in the upper left-hand corner because he was friends with Great Britain. And one stripe in either red, white, or blue to represent each of the eight main Hawaiian islands. All right, I hope I don't get my foot run over here.
never have Dennis Fujimoto, Dennis Fujimoto's job, I'll tell you that much. His photography skills are much better than mine. <laughs> Okay, but these guys do a lot of community service. you need to go back and watch last year's King Kamehameha Day Parade from the Sheraton Princess Ka'iulani's Ocean Tower where I'm looking straight down at, at the parade. I think street side is really great for the Kauai Parade but it was much better on Oahu to be up in the hotel room from the Lanai and I'm not kidding that we got a barbecue going on at KFD. That's Kauai Fire Department down there, Kauai's finest. Get yourself some barbecue now. I want to thank you all for joining me on this wonderful three-day weekend here in the Hawaiian Islands for King Kamehameha whose mother was Papai or pregnant during Haley's Comet, so she knew her son was going to be someone not to be trifled with. His mother was even craving the eye of either a tiger shark or a chief. Either way, you're not getting one of those easily, so she knew her son would be fearless. And upon his birth, he was whisked away and trained by a great warrior. He actually conquered the island of Hawaii first, and that's a great story. And then he went and conquered Maui, and then Maui had conquered Oahu, so he went to Oahu and he conquered the Maui army on Oahu. That's how he got Oahu. He only took Kauai because King Kaumualii, and you should look up those videos as well, King Kaumualii wanted peace and therefore he decided to make land ties. Thus we have also King Kaumualii to be honored as he decided to keep the people of Kauai safe and free of war. And so we say Mahalo Nui Loa, Yaoko Pakahiapau. Thank you all for joining me. We're going to finish off here with KFD. I do have some former students that are KFD as well as KPD flashing their blue and white lights down there. Letting everybody know. Uapau. Uapau Kalamu. Uapau Kahuaka'i. Eanonae. Ehoomaka'ana. Kaholaulea. The parade might be over, but the celebration is just starting down at the historic county building. So again, I want to remind you to be kind, see more, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to hit the bell for all notifications so you don't miss wonderful, spectacular things like 
the King Kamehameha Day Parade. You won't see it anywhere else except in the Hawaiian Islands. And this one is unique because we were the only island never conquered by King Kamehameha by force. And it's a long story, but we'll talk more about that a little bit later. Don't forget to watch last year's King Kamehameha Day Parade from the island of Oahu, from the Princess Ka'iolani Hotel. And check out the King Kaumuali'i celebration and things that led up to the celebration. Until the next time, we're going to get the dog here. Cute little dog. County of Kauai. We got Bubbles going. He must be Bubbles the dog. All right, it's looking good. And everybody's a good sport about it because, you know, got to close down the main road. We just want to make sure we get the last of the last. And from Beehive 5 Studios, you're looking at KPD 5 This is We Be Buzzing signing off, saying until we meet again, a hui ho and aloha. If you enjoyed today's King Kamehameha Day Parade, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for future videos. Leave me a comment or question in the comment section and share the aloha of the videos. <laughs>